How to write a risk for nursing diagnosis. Collect data and assess the patient. In this step, gather comprehensive data about the patient's medical history, current health status, physical assessment, laboratory results, and any other relevant information. Assess the patient's risk factors, vulnerabilities, and potential health problems. Step 2. Identify the risk factors, determine the risk factors that make the patient susceptible to a certain health issue. These risk factors could be related to the patient's age, lifestyle, medical history, environmental factors, or physiological condition. Step 3. Select the appropriate nursing diagnosis. Choose a nursing diagnosis that accurately reflects the potential health problem the patient is at risk for. The nursing diagnosis should start with the phrase risk for or potential for, followed by the health problem or condition. For example, risk for impaired skin integrity or risk for falls. Step 4. Write the nursing diagnosis statement. Create a concise and clear nursing diagnosis statement that highlights the potential problem and the specific risk factors involved. The statement should be patient-centered and based on the assessment findings. For example, risk for impaired skin integrity related to immobility and incontinence. Step 5. Document supporting evidence. Include the risk factors or evidence that support the chosen nursing diagnosis. These can be specific findings from the patient's assessment, laboratory results, or other relevant data. This helps justify the need for the diagnosis and any subsequent interventions. Step 6. Plan interventions. Outline the nursing interventions that will help prevent or minimize the identified risk. These interventions should be tailored to address the patient's individual risk factors. Focus on actions T. Step 7. Set realistic goals and outcomes. Establish achievable goals and expected outcomes that reflect the successful management of the risk. These goals should be measurable and time-bound. They will serve as a guide for evaluating the effectiveness of the interventions. Step 8. Implement and evaluate. Put the planned interventions into action. Monitor the patient's progress and assess whether the interventions are effective in reducing the identified risk. Regularly evaluate and adjust the interventions as needed based on the patient's response. Step 9. Document patient's response. Document the patient's response to the interventions and any changes in their risk status. This documentation is crucial for communicating with the healthcare team and providing a clear record of the patient's care. To get your risk for nursing diagnosis paper done visit Homework Market.